Just got myself a C63 Black Series spoiler. Let's see how the install goes. Hey, what's up guys? It's Flex with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install a C63 Black Series spoiler on your W204 Mercedes C-Class. So I bought my spoiler online. There's many different versions that you can buy, but they're very expensive. The lowest end is about $299 USD, and they can go all the way up to $1,000 to $1,500 if you buy the carbon fiber one. There are some lower grade carbon fiber ones under a grand, but I decided to stick with the 299 version since I'm not made of money. If you're interested in purchasing the same spoiler, I'll leave a link in the description below. And also I'll, le I'll leave a link for a carbon fiber version as well if you have a lot of moolah. So let's get to the install. So the spoiler comes in this matte black finish. The finish is not that good, so you definitely need to paint it or wrap it. I'm gonna wrap the spoiler. The legs of the spoiler are held on by uh, four Allen head screws and the legs are bolted to the car with some Phillip head bolts. Let's start by uh, removing these legs so I can start wrapping this spoiler. So here's the final product. I wrapped it in 4D carbon fiber vinyl. It looks really good, nice and smooth. And on the bottom of the spoiler, I decided to wrap it in gloss black 3M vinyl. For added protection, I'm gonna clear coat the spoiler and I think the gloss finish is also gonna make the carbon fiber vinyl pop a little more as well. Now you want to line your trunk with some painter's tape and measure out the center and draw a center line. Next is to measure the spoiler leg from edge to edge and also determine what the center line is, similar to what we just did with the trunk. Now place your spoiler on the trunk and try to match up the center lines. Next is to trace out the legs of the spoiler with a sharpie. The cool thing about the spoiler is the rubber gasket between the trunk and the spoiler legs actually already has holes um, so you can clearly leave those on the trunk, tape them down and mark where the holes are that you need to drill. Now you need to remove the trunk liner by removing these four torque screws and a bunch of these plastic trim screws all inside the trunk. Easy way to remove these trim screws is just using a pry tool that you can buy on eBay for less than 10 bucks. Now you can safely remove the trunk liner and set it aside. I went ahead and lined the inside of the trunk just in case there's any metal shavings that I need to catch. Now you can remove those rubber gasket pieces and start drilling. Now you can remove all the tape from the trunk and clean off any debris.
Now you can mount the spoiler by installing the first two screws at the edge of the trunk to hold the spoiler in place. Once that's in place, you can go ahead and screw in the rest of the bolts into the spoiler. Go ahead and reinstall the trunk liner. Now you're all set. So this install wasn't really for everyone. Some people hate the C63 Black Series spoiler, whatever. I kind of like it. I like that big wing look, uh, but also at the same time, it's not a uh, APC wing or some random spoiler that I put on my car. It is a C63 Black Series spoiler. So it does exist on a Mercedes. So there you have it. It's not too complicated, but your heart does race when you're drilling into your precious Mercedes trunk. Unfortunately, I don't have that type of heart, so I was able to do it. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you do, definitely hit like below. And as always, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next time.